Let's begin. Bring your blocks behind you, one on its medium setting, one on its tallest setting. Lower block under your chest, higher block under your head. Happy rainbow curve through your spine. Adjust the legs comfortably, whatever's gonna work for you here today. Feet together, knees together. And then relax your arms comfortably, so your shoulders, your chest feel relaxed. Take some time here breathing. Noticing any sensations in your body. Noticing the quality of your mind, your thoughts today. And then focusing a couple minutes here on your breath. Steadiness, evenness. Notice the feeling of your body breathing as you lay here. Notice the sound and the feeling of your breath as it's moving in and out. Add a little pause at the top of each inhale, pause. At the bottom of each exhale, pause. As you pause, top of the inhale, feel grounded into your mat. Grounded where you touch down. As you exhale, draw into the center line. The navel draws in. This sense of plugging in, bottom of the exhale. As you pause, extend extend and expand out with that next inhalation sensing that groundedness again into your mat as you exhale drawing into the midline drawing into your center and then from that space in the center extending and expanding out as you inhale Bring your feet to the mat again, press up off the blocks, set them to the side, come back onto your back, bringing your knees into your chest, hug your knees into your chest on your back. Squeeze one of your blocks in between your thighs and open your arms out like a letter T. Squeeze the block as you exhale, hover your knees over to the left, look to the right. Squeeze the block, inhale, come back through the center. As you exhale, hover your knees to the right, look to the left. Squeeze the block, come back through the center. Continue like that. Exhale, hover knees left. Inhale. Exhale, hover knees right. Inhale back through the center. Feel grounded in the center. Really ground your low back into the mat and then exhale as you twist. Draw into the midline. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Hover the knees. Inhale, center. Exhale, hover knees left. Center, inhale. Hover knees to the right. Exhale, keep squeezing the block. 
inhale center. This time, let's take the knees all the way to the right, hover them, bring them back to the center, and then one more time, bring the knees all the way over to the left, hover them, and then bring them back through the center. Hover right, center, squeeze the block, hover left, center. Now take the block out and take your spinal twist, only this time extend your left leg down, bring your right knee into your chest, and then cross the right knee across to the left as you open your right arm out beside you, look to the right back to that evenness, steadiness in your breathing. Come back through the center and you can switch here, extending your right leg long, crossing your left knee across to your right, opening your left arm and looking to the left. Relax your chest. Next time you inhale at the top, pause, feel that groundedness. Down through the left, right leg, up through the spine. As you exhale, navel in, you can drop back through the center line again. Left knee into your chest. Extend the left leg down. Let's go full body stretch, stretch out, take up space, wiggle. And then bend the knees, hug the knees into your chest. We'll tuck the chin, interlace behind the head, head hover, shoulder hover off the mat. And then set your head and shoulders down. Keep that 90 degree angle in the legs. And we'll do two sit-ups here. On the second one, tap your toes. So inhale, come down, exhale, sit up. Come down again, inhale. Exhale, sit up, hold, tap the toes. Good, and then inhale, bring the head back down. Exhale, sit up. Inhale, down. Second one, exhale, sit up, tap the toes. Inhale, down. Exhale, sit up. Second one, exhale, sit up, tap the toes. Inhale, come down. Keep moving. Exhale, sit up. Inhale, down. Exhale, sit up, tap the toes, inhale down. Exhale, sit up, inhale. Exhale, sit up, tap the toes, and inhale, come down. Exhale, sit up. Second one, exhale, sit up, tap the toes, inhale, come down. Exhale, sit up. Exhale, sit up, tap the toes, inhale down. Exhale, sit up. Exhale, sit up, tap the toes, inhale, come down. Hug the knees into the chest. Happy baby pose. Knees open wide, heels lift. Relax your shoulders, relax your upper back. Keep the lower back flattening into the mat. Start to rock and roll. Eventually, roll up. Exhale through onto your belly. Setting up for cobra pose. Untuck the toes. Keep your elbows bent. Root down through the pelvis. Draw into the midline so elbows hug in. You can hover your hands for a moment. And then lift up. Kneecaps stay lifted the whole time. Come back down onto your belly. And then for a moment, press up. And just to create an imprint, a blueprint, let's say for Chaturanga, for our vinyasas today, bring the blocks on their lowest setting under your low belly and under your chest and set up Chaturanga. Elbows bent, wrists under elbows. Maybe you start with your knees down. See if you can lift up off the blocks and hover for a second. Maybe you lift the knees. So if you can hover up off the blocks for a second, think of the chest pulling forward. Think of the legs stretching back. Root down into the mat. 
draw into your center line. Lift up, see if you can hover up above the blocks again. You can always rest back down under the blocks if you need a rest. Do that one more time. Root down into the mat, hug into the midline. And then lift up off the blocks. Whether the knees are down or the knees aren't down. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up. Good. You can put the blocks to the side again, maybe even top two corners of your mat. And come up into plank pose, the top of a push up. So again, feel the chest pulling forward, feel the legs stretching back. Press down to the mat, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Lifting from your belly as you exhale, lift the hips, lift the belly, press back, downward facing dog, breathe. Root down into your hands and your feet. Draw into the midline, think of the muscles of the arms and the legs hugging to the bone. The navel lifts up, and then there's that energy of lifting up out of the pose. Lift high to your tiptoes. Exhale, tiptoe your toes. How light can you be on your toes? Top of the mat, forward fold. Sweep your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Forward fold, releasing the weight of the head. Leaning weight into your toes, drawing up into the low belly. Chest is open, just to give the wrists a little love. With the interlace, pull the palms apart. Feel the stretch through the back of the wrists. Breathe. Even, smooth breath in and out your nose. Relax your neck, your jaw. Release your arms. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold belly to thighs. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, hands come through your heart. Release your arms down by your sides. Center yourself again here. Root down, draw into the midline. Find that lift up through the back of the chest, through the back of the skull. Tail and navel draw into the midline. Legs head into the midline, inhale, stretch up, reach up through your arms as you exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, re-extend arms. And then exhale, grab your right wrist, lean to the left as you step your right leg behind your left leg. Squeeze into the midline, root down, reach up. Inhale, come back through the center. And then exhale, switch, grab your left wrist, lean to the right left foot behind right squeeze the legs together inhale center exhale forward fold. lift up halfway breathe in step back through plank so right leg back left leg back in your plank drawn to the belly lightly right foot forward left foot forward halfway lift inhale step back left leg back right leg back Step forward, nice and light on the feet. Left foot forward, right leg back. Lots of core here. Inhale, half lift. And then your choice, you can step back again, you can jump back, exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. midline lift up lift your heels up step walk exhale hop your feet top of your mat forward fold inhale half lift exhale fold inhale stand up reach up root down reach up cactus arms as you exhale re-extend the arms inhale side bend to the left Right leg behind the left leg, squeeze in, lean left, inhale, center. Exhale, lean to the right, grab your left wrist, left leg behind right, squeeze 
comes in. Inhale, center, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, chest forward, feet back, exhale, chaturanga, step or hop. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, breathe. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, transition to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, release the neck. Stand up, reach up, inhale. Cactus arms, exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lean left. Inhale through the center. Exhale, lean right. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Center the weight over the palms. Squeeze into the midline. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Lift the chest. Exhale, lift the belly. Lift the hips. Down dog. Here for three. Two. Step or a hop, exhale, come to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Hands come to your heart as you exhale. Chair pose, come into your chair pose. Sink down through the heels, root down. Hug into the midline, inner legs, arms. Lift up, lift the chest up, lift your right leg up. Everything stays the same, root down. Draw into the midline, lift up. Switch legs, set your right heel down. Draw into the midline, root down into your right heel, lift your left heel, leg up. Hug into the midline, root down, lift up. Pick that gazing point out in front of you. Inhale, come back through chair. Exhale, fold, belly to thighs. Inhale, lift halfway. Chest forward, feet back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg. On your exhale, right knee to your nose. Draw into the midline, root down, lift up, step the foot forward. Low lunge as you inhale, torso and arms come up. Back knee is lowered. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up. Bring your hands through your heart, twist to the right, stay upright. Good, so right hand comes down towards your left thigh, left arm stretches up, keep twisting, lean back with the shoulders. Hands come to the mat. Lift the back knee, step back plank. I'm just kidding. Forgot to do my favorite part here. Hover the right leg in your plank and three times. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, chest forward, feet back. Exhale, inhale. And then after that third one, step forward again with your right leg. Same, same leg, so still on the right leg. Come into your runner's lunge. Extend the front leg, hug the inseams of the legs in, soften your glutes. Get longer through your torso, from belly to chest, from chest to forehead. Draw up into your low belly. Rebend into your right knee. Step back plank, maybe right leg hovers. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, inhale. Bring your left knee to your nose. Kick the heel towards the butt, root down, lift up, step forward. Drop your back knee down, low lunge. Hug the inseams of the thighs in, root down, lift up. Draw into your low belly, root down, lift up. Breathe, hands come through the heart. Twist to the left this time, stay upright. 
Take your left arm down towards your right thigh. Stretch your right arm vertical and then lean the shoulders back. Legs stay the same. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up, lean back. Hands come to the mat. One-legged plank here, keeping that left knee hovering. You can always drop the right knee to modify this three times. Exhale, knee to nose, stretch it back. Exhale, knee to nose, and then step it through after that third one. Dropping your back knee down into your runner's lunge. Extend the front leg, flex the toes back towards your face. Keep the spine long, even here, root down. Draw into the midline, and then stretch out, lift up, breathe. Cover the left leg if you'd like. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale through your up dog. Exhale down dog. Breathe. Welcome to hang out. Take some hops here. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up. Step or hop, top of the mat, lift halfway, inhale, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair pose, inhale. Sinking through that left heel, hands come through the heart. Stand up, come back through your chair pose, inhale, hover the right leg. Set the right leg down, hover the left leg. Root down, hover the leg, hug into the midline, lift up. Good. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga, chest forward, legs back. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right leg lifts. Breathe in. Exhale, lunge your right leg forward. Drop your back knee down. Low lunge, inhale. Twist to your right as you exhale. Right arm down, left arm up, lean back, inhale. Hands come down as you exhale. Right leg back, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, chest forward, leg back, exhale, knee to nose. One more of those, breathe in, knee to nose, lunge it through, back knee down, extend your right leg. Find your expression, take a breath. Rebend into your right knee. Step it back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg lifts. Inhale, knee to nose. Lunge it through. Drop the back knee. Low lunge. Breathe in. Twist left. Breathe out. Left arm comes down. Right arm comes up. Inhale, lean back. Keep lunging into that left knee, hugging into the midline. Hands come down, three-legged plank, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, send it back, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale, chest forward, leg back, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, lunge it through, straighten the left leg and bow, find your expression. Keep that length through the spine. Breathe. Rebend into your left knee. Send it back, exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale through your up dog. Exhale through your down dog. Breathe. Root down, draw into the midline to find that lift up. Eventually come up to the top of the mat. Breathe in, half lift, breathe out, fold. Breathe in, chair. Stand up, exhale, hands through the heart. Come back into your chair, breathe in. Hands come through your heart, this time twist to your right. Breathe out, press the palms together, press the heart and thumbs together. Lean the weight into your right leg, kick your left heel up towards the butt cheek. Find that gazing point and breathe. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up. Come back through chair, inhale. Right into the other side, exhale, twist to the left. So leaning into the left leg, hug into the midline, kick your right heel towards your right butt cheek. Root down, draw into midline, twist, lift up. Come back through chair, inhale. 
forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Lift your right leg, inhale. Exhale, lunge your right foot forward. This time we're coming up high lunge position. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up. Find that gazing point if that's helpful here. Hands come through the heart. Stay upright, twist to the right. Right arm comes down, left arm comes up like we practiced. Root down, draw into the midline, lift the chest up, lean back. Good, place your left hand down, right arm up, twisting lunge. Root down, hook into the midline, lift up, twist up, maybe take your gaze up. Good, right hand comes down. Extend the right leg, pyramid pose. You can keep the back heel lifted, you can drop it. Eventually though, scooch it forward, 50-50 the weight over your legs. Breathe. Can you feel your leg bones, your hip bones pull back? Can you fold? but then draw the torso forward and extend. Placing your left hand down on the block or the floor. Rebending into your right knee, coming back into your revolved high lunge. Roll into the pinky edges of your feet, stepping back high plank, um, excuse me, side plank position. Rooting down, drawing into the midline, lifting up, maybe even hovering your right leg up. Can you keep that hover all the way through your vinyasa? Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, lunge it through, high lunge position. Torso and arms come up, hug it into the midline, root down into your feet, lift it up. Hands come through your heart. This time we're twisting left. Left arm comes down, right arm comes up. But lean back, hug into the midline, lean back. Big breath in. Right hand comes down, revolve lunge. Keep hugging into the midline. Keep opening the chest towards the left edge of your mat. come down extend the left leg and again you can keep that back heel lifted but then eventually scooch it forward and find that 50 50 weight distribution from front to back heel hugging into the midline feeling the legs and hip bones pull back feeling the spine extending forward even as you fold over the front leg breathing here and then scooch in that right foot back again come back into your revolved lunge rolling to the pinky edges of your feet side plank step your left foot back find your expression tail and navel in root down lift up maybe even hover the left leg up maybe even keep the leg hovering as you transition exhale chaturanga inhale up dog Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Feel the warmth you're creating in your body. Inhale, high to the toes. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose. Inhale, root down. Hug into the midline. Lift up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Twist to the right. Good, options. You can take that same balance we took on the other side. Maybe open your arms this round or take this into Parjva Bakasana, into your revolved crow. One or both elbows outside of the right thigh. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up. Come back through chair, breathe in twist to your left, breathe out, same options, maybe you kick right heel towards butt cheek, maybe you just open the arms here, or take your revolved crow, Parjva Bakasana, one or both elbows outside of left thigh, knee down, draw in, lift up, chest up, breathe, inhale chair, exhale, 
inhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, plant your palms, exhale, chest forward, feet back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, lunge it through, high lunge, breathe in. Hands through the heart, breathe out, twist to the right, reach your left arm up, lean back. Inhale, reverse, revolved. Exhale, into your revolved lunge, left hand down, right arm up, hands come down, scooch the back leg in, fold over the leg. Draw up into your low belly. This time plant your left palm revolved triangle pose. Weight 50 50 over legs and left hand. Extend as you twist the torso towards the right. Maybe take your gaze up to your right hand, active trust. Bringing the hands down, spinning back up onto the pinky edge of the back foot. Take this through your side plank. Find your expression. What's your deepest expression? Can you take a breath or two and steady yourself there? And then make that smooth transition through your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg lifts. Lunge it through, exhale, high lunge, inhale. Stay upright, twist, exhale, left hand down, right arm up, inhale, reverse, revolved. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up, revolved, twist, hug into the middle. Both hands down, extend the front leg, slide the back leg in. 50-50 the weight over the feet, find your revolved triangle pose, right hand down, left arm up. Breathe down, draw into your midline, twist as you lift the left arm up, as you rotate the left shoulder back. Into your side plankage, roll pinky edge of the feet. Find your deepest expression here. See if you can steady yourself, couple breaths. Smooth transition through vinyasa. Breathe. Walk your feet hands together, back of the mat, inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Lift your right knee up. Open the right knee out, take your tree pose, pressing right foot, inner left thigh, extending the arms up, finding your expression here in your tree, root down, Draw into the midline, lift up, grow taller, breathe. Bring the knee forward, extend the leg and slowly bring the right leg down. Lift your left knee up, open the left knee tree pose, left side, root the left foot into your right thigh, root down into your standing leg, draw into your midline and then find that extension up through your branches, breathe. Bring the knee forward, extend the leg forward, softly set the leg down. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk forward, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg, inhale. Bend your right knee, open your hips to the right. Take movement or stillness. Step back, take your flip dog. Feet are parallel, facing the back of the mat, both knees bent in your flip dog. Lifting the chest, when you're ready, lift the right leg again. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge the right leg across to the left, fall in triangle pose. Lift up, draw your right shoulder blade into your back. 
hug the muscles of the right leg to the bone, maybe even hover the leg up and then take it up and back. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, lunge through, warrior two. Blossom open. Root down, draw into your belly. Really feel the legs, inner thighs extending out. Reverse your warrior here, inhale. As you exhale, side ankle pose. Bring the elbow to the thigh. Any variation here. If you want to bind, you can bind. Hug your right butt cheek under you. Keep that sense of the legs stretching apart, the feet grounding down, the chest lifting as you open towards the left edge of your mat. Breathe. Eventually release. Both hands come down. Right leg back through your vinyasa. Inhale, lift your left leg, bend the knee, open the hips, take the movement, take the stillness, leading us to our flip dog when you're ready. So left leg steps back, feet face the back of the mat, lift the hips, lift the heart. As the left arm stretches up and over, spin the pinky down, spin the thumb up, maybe hand to the heart. Back through your three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Root into the feet, stretch the inner thighs, reverse, warrior two, breathe in. Take this through your side ankle pose, breathe out. Maybe elbow to the thigh, half bind, full bind. Got a few more breaths here, keeping the legs extending apart, the feet rooting down. The torso a little bit lifted, use your core as you open the chest towards the right edge of your mat. Pick your gaze, breathe. Release. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knee. This time take wild thing. Keep your left leg straight. Keep your right heel lifted and breathe. Come back three-legged dog when you're complete. Exhale, you could take your fallen triangle again. You could take the right knee across and find Ekapada Kundanyasana here. Arm balance. Hover, eventually warrior two, right side. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Take a breath. And then plant the palms. Inhale, take the right leg up and back. Exhale, lunge the right foot forward, warrior two. Right hand comes down for half moon. Hop up onto your right leg, lift your left leg up. Root down, draw up into the belly, up into the midline, extend up, lift up, flex the left toes, maybe bend the knee, grab the top of the foot, Chapasana, breathe. Pick your gazing point. How soft can you make it? hand down, left toes down. Standing split. Draw into your belly. Kick the left heel up. Option to take some hop switches here. Hop up, switch your feet. See how light you can be on your feet as you hop. Option to hold. Take it back through your vinyasa whenever you feel do so. Left leg lifts up. Inhale, bend the knee. We're going wild thing, left side. So step your left foot back, down the ball of the left foot, straighten your right leg, lift up in your expression. Root down, lift up. Come back three legged. Inhale, 
And then bring the left knee across, either your fallen triangle or Ekapada Kundanyasana. Take a breath. Come on back, three-legged dog. Inhale. Lunge forward, exhale, warrior two, left side. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle pose, exhale. Take a breath. Find your expression. And then release both hands down, three-legged dog. Take your left leg up and back. Lunge it through. Set up, warrior two to your half moon Ardha Chandrasana. Sink into that right heel, excuse me, left heel. As the right heel lifts, flex the foot, root down, draw up into the belly, draw into your midline, lift up, lift that left leg, flex the foot. Maybe kick the heel towards the butt, Chapasana. Breathe, root down, draw in, lift and extend up and out. Breathe. comes down right toes turn down coming into your standing split kick the right heel up bow forward draw into your belly set up for your hops exhale as you hop root down draw into the midline lift up eventually take this back through your vinyasa or straight back to downward facing dog Look forward, breathe in. Step or a hop. Bring your knees down. Come to seated. So, option to roll over the feet, option to cross at the ankles and slide through on your toes think one top of the foot then the other top of the foot or option to jump through thinking rooting down drawing into the midline Ooh, lifting up eventually come to seated position come into boat pose lift the feet hands hover on the outside of the legs just tapping one set of toes and then the other squeezing into the midline rooting down lifting up how light can you be on the toes as they tap keep the chest lifted breathe maybe you do both feet together inhale tap down exhale lift up the chest up. Keep the belly and the thighs moving together. Just a little bit longer here. Soften your jaw, soften your face. Eventually right shin on top of left, double pigeon. You can always cross the ankle and go more for like a cross-legged position if that's better. Bow forward over your legs. Breathe. Notice how even here, maybe slightly more of a surrendered groundedness, that passive groundedness where you touch down, drawing up into your low belly, and then keeping extension out through the spine, even as you bow. Breathe, a couple more breaths. Eventually you can come upright. Uncross the legs. You guessed it. Second round of boat pose. When you're ready, lift the legs up, reach the arms forward. We got this boat pose. Woo this round gets even more spicy. So you'll see, root down, draw into the midline, lift up. 
you can hold here or let's play inhale half boat exhale sit up inhale down exhale lift inhale down keep that low back nice and flat exhale lift inhale exhale inhale belly and thigh inhale exhale sit up inhale hold 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 exhale sit up Woo. let's go left shin on top double pigeon or you can go ankle in front of ankle the left leg in front set up for that hip opening here as you bow forward Find that passive groundedness where you touch down. Draw into your low belly and then find the length from your belly to your chest, from your chest to your forehead. Tuck your chin slightly, soften your collarbones, breathe. yourself upright again when you're complete. Extend your legs forward. Shake it out a little bit and then you can bring your right knee into your chest. Cross the right knee over the left thigh and you can stay here with the left leg straight or if you prefer you can go for your gumkasana full shape with that mirror image of the feet to either side, bowing over the legs, breathing into that deep internal rotation in your hips. You can really feel the stretch through the outer hip, thigh muscles in this one. Take a few more breaths. upright and release you can extend both legs forward again when you're ready you can bring the left knee into your chest step your left over right leg left knee over right thigh or you're finding that mirror image with the feet to either side of you over the legs when you're ready breathe into that deep outer hip stretch smooth out your breath again even here how can you find that sense of rootedness down Drawing into the midline as you soften your glutes. Just extending out. Eventually you can come up again. Extend the legs forward. And setting up next here for an inversion pose. You can take headstand, shoulder stand, any inversion of your choice here. Headstand. I like to tuck in. If you're working away from the wall, then you can always think feet back and then feet up. Find your expression here. Smooth out your breath. See if you can apply those principles as you root down into the earth as you draw into the midline and then as you find that extension and lift up in your shape. Smooth out your breath, breathe. Welcome to test your balance. If you're in headstand, can you bring your legs halfway down and then bring them the rest of the way up again? 
And then can you slowly lower the legs just to hover? And then bring them back up again. And then can you slowly lower the legs to hover? And then eventually come down. Stay low, find an appropriate restful pose to come in next, whether that's child's pose or maybe hugging your knees into your chest on your back. Rolling upright, come onto your back. Set up for a bridge pose. Pressing down into your feet, lifting up through your hips and your chest. Interlace your fingers underneath you, root down, draw into the midline, lift up. Smooth, steady breath. Slowly roll your spine down. Second round, bend your elbows, press your upper arms into the mat, lift your hips up, place your fingertips near your shoulders, press down, hug in, lift up, breathe. Root down, draw into the midline, lift up. You're welcome to repeat another round if you'd like. Eventually here, finding a restful position, either knees together or feet together like when we began. Place right hand on belly, left hand on chest. And take as long as you'd like here. Maybe set the timer on your phone for five or 10 minutes. Maybe you come up to a seated meditation. Or maybe you stay on your back here. And just give yourself a little bit of time to be still, to acknowledge the feeling of your body breathing, the warmth of your practice here, how it's brought this feeling of aliveness into your body, steadying of breath and mind. And spend a little bit of time here. Again, thanks so much for practicing with me today. And have a beautiful rest of your day.